Hey everybody, my name is Mike and welcome back to the short of it. Quick short videos to give you a high level overview of content for anyone with enough to get started. In today's video I'll be showing you how to wrap your text in another installment of the GIMP series. So let's get started. When creating your own design you sometimes want to include text. In today's video I'll be showing you how to use GIMP to manipulate that text to achieve your desired look. Let's go ahead and open up GIMP, click on File, and select New. I'll keep the size of my background at the default. Before we begin, I'm going to add some guidelines to ensure we create a symmetrical design. I'll go into Image, Guides, and New Guide by Percentage. I'll keep the direction vertical and the percentage at 50%. Afterwards, I'll return to Image, Guides, New Guide by Percentage, and this time I'll choose Horizontal at 50%. We now have two lines that will help us determine the center. We'll then want to go to View and make sure Snap to Guide is selected. This will help us get our image to the center. I will then select the Ellipse tool. The tool will automatically keep the shape symmetrical as you move your cursor. If you would like to change the shape, you can hold down Shift, which will allow you to manipulate the circle to your liking. I'll keep mine as a perfect circle. Once I have my circle, I can click on it and move it to the center. You'll notice that the center crosshairs snap to the center of the guidelines if you get close enough. I will then go to Select and click To Path. This will add the circle to the Path tab within our Selection tab, which will be highlighted more in a moment. First, we'll want to go to Select again and click None. At that point, the circle will disappear. Now we'll want to go to the window in the lower right hand corner. Near the top of the window, you will see the Paths tab. Clicking on it will show you the circle we created. Left of the circle, you will see two boxes. Clicking on the left box will display an eyeball. This will make the circle visible in the Layers tab. Returning to the Layers tab, I will then click on the Text tool to create our text. I'll just use an example and write XYZ Family. I will want to make sure the text box is big enough to preview the text, but then I will want to go back and resize the text box afterwards. When we go in to curve our text, the effect will alter the text box rather than the text itself. To ensure that the text remains the same size when altered, we need to ensure that the box is only big enough to fit that text. I'll then create another text box and in this one write vacation. I will then right click the vacation text under the selection window and choose text along path. This will wrap the text around our circle, but as you can see, it is upside down. So to correct that, we will want to undo and select the Flip tool from the toolbox. Below that, in the tool options, you will want to make sure that Transform is set to Path and that Direction is set to Horizontal. You will then click on the line of the circle. This will flip the circle's path, allowing the text to face the right way. After that's done, you will then right-click Vacation again and choose Text Along Path. It should now be facing the right direction. You can then unclick the eyeball to the right on the vacation text layer since we will no longer need to see it. You will then want to create a new layer which can be done by clicking the button on the bottom left hand corner of the window. It is a sheet of paper with a plus sign. I will make sure transparency is selected and click OK. After that I will return to the path tab which now has the vacation text listed. I will right click it and select path to selection which will cause the text to become selected. I will then go to edit and select fill with FC or foreground color which for me is black but you can make it any color you want. I will then go to selection and click none. After that I will click the X in the bottom right hand corner of the selection window to delete it since it is no longer needed. I will then return to the layers tab. In the toolbox I will select the rotate tool and move vacation to where I want it to be. If you are unable to get it just right, you can use the manual slide option located in the rotate window. We can move on to the XYZ family text now and do the same thing. Before we start though, I want to flip the circle configuration again so that the text will wrap around the circle in the correct direction. I'll click on the flipping tool, make sure path and horizontal is selected, and click the circle. After that's done, we can move on and right click the text box in the selection window and choose text along path. Then we can unclick the eyeball to the right of the XYZ family text layer since we will no longer need to see it. 
We will then want to create yet another layer, which can be done by clicking the button in the bottom left hand corner of the window. I will again make sure transparency is selected and click OK. After that, I will return to the path tab, which now has the XYZ family text listed. I will then right click it and select path to selection, which will cause the text to become selected. I will then go to edit and select fill with FC or foreground color. I will then go to selection and click none. After that, I will click the X in the bottom right hand corner to delete it since it is no longer needed. I will then return to the layers tab. In the toolbox, I will select the rotate tool and move XYZ family to where I want it to be. At this point, we are finished for the most part. If you would like to remove the circle, you can do so by returning to the path tab and clicking the X in the bottom right hand corner. You can get rid of the background and the layers tab the same way. If you export this image out of GIMP, the guidelines will not appear, but if you want to remove them for any reason, you can do so by going to Image Guides and Remove All Guides. Additionally, you can get rid of all layers except for the wrap text if you would like to. And there you have it, your text is wrapped. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button and bell if you haven't already been notified when new videos do drop. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. As always, I am Mike. This is the short of it. See you next time.